On Monday, Marissa and I and some members of our families went to Ohio for the eclipse. Though the sky at times featured high, thin cirrus and cirrostratus clouds, they didn't detract from the spectacular show. Mixing with those high clouds were other icy clouds that were not natural, clouds that have been in the news lately in Pennsylvania and a few other states. I'm talking about contrails, short for condensation trails, the plumes that aircraft leave behind in the sky as invisible water vapor in the plane's exhaust condenses and becomes visible. Similar to the little cloud that forms when you breathe out on a cold day as warm, moist air from your lungs mixes with the chilly atmosphere. But whereas the cloud from your breath lasts maybe a second or two before evaporating, contrails often last many minutes, even a few hours. That's because contrails are made of ice, forming only at very low temperatures of about negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit or below. In air that cold, tiny drops of water freeze instantly, and once frozen, they can't evaporate. They can only fade away through the process of sublimation, where a solid turns directly into a gas. If you've ever observed a piece of dry ice, frozen carbon dioxide, in the sun, it doesn't melt, it just slowly shrinks in size. That's sublimation. And that's what happens to the ice in a contrail, but only if the relative humidity of the air is low enough. If it's very low, sublimation happens fast and the contrail only persists a short time. But if the relative humidity is high, the contrail can last much longer, just like natural clouds often do. In fact, back on Monday's satellite imagery, you could actually see long-lived contrails being blown from the west and southwest into Ohio on fast upper air winds. And we could certainly see them in the sky alongside natural high clouds as we awaited the eclipse. Now, there are lots of other examples of atmospheric phenomena that form or are modified by human causes. For example, the reddened sunsets and milky skies from pollution in the atmosphere, or the puddles of water that seem to sit on an asphalt road on a sunny day, but aren't really there. These phenomena have well-established scientific explanations that aren't controversial. But over the years, contrails have become the stuff of conspiracy theories. The most popular is that the government is adding harmful substances to the atmosphere from planes, forming contrail-like plumes in the sky, commonly called chemtrails. Legislation has even been proposed in a few states, including Pennsylvania, that, even though not specifically mentioning chemtrails, suggests that some lawmakers believe this is going on. I'm here to tell you there's no credible scientific evidence for these extraordinary claims. They have all been debunked, no matter what the Internet says. If we need legislation to address chemtrails, you might as well address leprechauns, unicorns, and Bigfoot while you're at it. Stay tuned. We'll be back in a moment with the extended forecast.